Hello there. So, I've been at the studio all day, uh, and I've been editing um, my latest song together, and I thought, as I'm here, why don't I do a podcast just with me on my own? Now, I appreciate it's probably a nightmare um, listening to me talk uh, for a couple of minutes, let alone, I don't know, 5, 10, 15, 20, however long this takes, who knows? A cup of coffee, just to chill me out, you know? So, what I um, wanted to talk about is uh, something that, uh, so I started a status, I think it was yesterday, um, and it was talking about potentially having ADHD or ADD or some some form of attention problem, yeah? Um, and there was loads of really, really lovely comments from people. Uh, and they were saying about, you know, I could try um, various different things. But it kind of got me thinking to myself, so what actually is normal? Because so many people like sent me messages or were commenting and saying that they felt the same, they, they had an attention problem. Um, there are people that say they're on the autistic spectrum. Um, I've, um, I've written a couple of blogs about um, my dealings in the past with things like depression and being up and down and there's some um, days where I can you know honestly go from being like on top of the world to feeling like I'm just gonna plow my car into a bridge or something uh, I'm not sure why I said bridge but you know what I mean um, something drastic uh, and like it takes a lot of like mental effort um, to try to keep like an even keel uh, and a lot of it like it's just an illusion oh you can hear some snare drum in the background because I'm just actually mixing down a song uh, I forgot that I'd sent that off attention problems again I was, I was supposed to be waiting to do that and I got bored so I thought I'd make this it'll stop in a minute it's fine you can enjoy the fancy military snare drum um, so yeah uh, I've honestly like I just cannot focus like on what I'm trying to do and with that I get finished so um, yeah it's hard to keep you know um, an even keel uh, and it's often an illusion of one um, and I was talking to Joey the other day about how uh, I think like more and more people probably recently have seen that side of me that quite kind of erratic side for instance I went to the open mic night the other day and I was in a, a particularly low bleak point but I mean you know for anybody else they might have said oh well it's fine but you know when you're in that mode it's really hard to snap out of it uh, so what I used to do is when I lived on my own is I could have a place where I could just sort of like disappear and I could kind of at least get myself ready to have the illusion, you know, like a game face um, to put on and be cheerful and um, the cheeky gregarious sausage that I'm sure you all identify me um, with. Uh, now I have just realised that I haven't plugged the fancy microphone in here. Uh, oh well, we'll just carry on with the audio from the camera. <laughs> Honestly. Like, it's just crazy, like, the way my head works. Mm. I, might, I'm, I, might have to, I might have to chop this bit out. Yeah, so at least I can have the illusion of everything being um, fine. Because, um, you know, I've, like, taken the time to sort of centre myself. Maybe, I don't know, just uh, often um, binging a bit of Netflix or just listening to some music. Uh bit cheeky onanism, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anything like that uh, that can help. Um, plenty of coffee. Coffee's always good. Uh, but yeah, so I have a chance to put on the game face. Um, and then it is like an illusion. Because often what can be going on underneath, you know, people um, wouldn't even know really. So the point I'm making is, is perhaps everybody's doing that and if everybody is doing that then what actually is normal because if everybody underneath it all is going through some shit like everybody's feeling either depressed or they've got like attention problems and everything has these names like ADD um, 
you know, uh, bipolar. But what I'm saying is in comparison to what? So if you have normal, if you're not that, then you know, you've got an attention problem. If you're not that, then you've got bipolar. But it seems that nobody is that. Nobody is this thin margin of normal. So maybe one of the things we need to do is um, lift the lid on what like normal is. You know, because everybody was saying I could try this and it would help me um, get some sense of normality. But I suppose with with some of my mentalness uh, comes uh, some other things. You know, like it can make you really creative. You know, you can be erratic in one stage. So is normal being like some kind of automaton robot? And if that is the case, who the hell wants to be that? You know, isn't what our character is? Uh, you know, isn't that the thing that defines our uniqueness, our humanity? Um, you know, isn't that what separates us? You know, like from each other, from machines. Um, and maybe yeah, like if we redefine some some of the things uh, that we refer to as normal. Um, maybe everybody would accept themselves and accept each other a bit more. Um, so yeah, that was just a little thought that I had uh, while I was mixing down the audio uh, and my attention wandered again briefly. Um, I'm going to put this on my podcast page uh, because it's something that I used to really, really enjoy doing, uh, just have, having a conversation. If I'm honest, I think sometimes having a conversation for me is probably like better than almost anything. Uh, obviously, like I love music, but just sometimes you, when you have those conversations, you're like, "Wow, yeah, that that really sort of like blew my mind." You know, when some somebody says something that you haven't thought of. I, I had I had Grant and Joey over at the M Studio the other day, and we had an amazing conversation. Uh, I was around uh, Scott's place for his birthday party, and you know there were some people there. And we had some awesome conversations. So yeah, I just um, want to restart the podcast thing. So if any of you guys would like to come on, uh, not have an agenda. I mean, I'm just talking shit to a camera um, while I'm waiting for snare drums to mix down. So it doesn't have to be about anything. Uh, and perhaps people uh, would find something interesting in that. Maybe uh, we could do like a follow-up to this and we could call it What is Normal? And just uh, maybe have two or three people in we can just discuss you know uh, should we be striving for a sense of normality should it be that we just accept that everybody everybody's a bit like crazy and you know there there are no terms that, that don't define us that's one of the weirdest things everybody seems to be searching for a term to define them uh, there's even terms to define the undefinable say something so like gender fluid maybe it's like it's going I'm undefinable yeah here's a name for it uh, and I find a lot of that stuff weird and maybe I don't know uh, perhaps I'm wrong but maybe things would be much healthier if we did if you realize nobody is in this thin thing of normal or maybe some people are I don't know uh, maybe it's like John Major remember from the spitting image thing where he was like gray um, puppet I don't know you know maybe that's normal but I sure as hell I don't want to be that if that is normal do you if you do fine you know I've got nothing against you I mean I've got a few things against your major but you know that's another you know that's another podcast um but yeah uh is it like a Venn diagram where you have you know various different kind of personality traits and then there's something in the middle where everybody sort of agrees on this thing in the middle is normal and we should all have some of that because I guess if you're too far over there and you know you don't come together as a community in the middle and we all agree like maybe some mental kind of serial killer say the shipman or something you know like if he had some of that bit in the middle maybe you know would be like a good thing uh so yeah maybe there are various circle I, I don't know what I'm trying to say so there's various circles of personality types and um, where they converge in the middle and then that's normal um, this by the way is the kind of the kind of shit that's going through my head all the time so I can't focus on mixing down drum parts but um, so 
is is some sense of normality good? Is is there any such thing as normal? Please feel free to comment un under this video or send me a message. Um, or is it that yeah, we're all just kind of completely sort of like chaotic and uh, there is no normal? I mean, is normal just a consensus, um, something we all agree on? Uh, and if it's something that is an illusion, does that mean that normality is just an illusion? I don't know. Uh, it could be argued. Anyway, uh, please, if, if if you'd like to come on and have a chat about any of this, or anything else really, I'm just open just to um, talk about these things. Uh, I will probably, I don't know, maybe try and make it look a bit more fancy than this. You know, maybe kind of fancy cuts and like different camera angles. Uh, not just the microphone from the camera. Uh, I was supposed to put my fancy one in, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, um, it would be awesome to have a chat with you. So uh, send me a message uh, and maybe you could comment under here. What do you think normal is? Is there such a thing as normal? Is it all just an illusion? Are none of us normal? Is anyone normal? Anyway. Uh, I hope you found uh, some of that interesting. I'm not sure if, if any of my ramblings made any sense. But, um, yeah, uh, I look forward to hopefully having a conversation with you or reading some comments under this. Or, you know, maybe it be one of those videos where you have, like, uh, three or four views. And that's just me just sort of checking if anyone else has viewed it. But, okay, uh, I'll speak to you soon.